Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show off you very quickly how you can bring in a color palette to Blender so that you can texture the faces of your objects using specifically colors from that color palette and selectively applying each color you want to each individual face of your object. So in this case, a color palette is going to be a simple PNG image file, which contains little squares of all of the colors that you are going to want to assign to the faces of your object. And in order to use an image file as a texture in Blender, you have to bring it in as a material input. So if you want a place where you can grab some color palettes, you could use lowspec.com slash palette dash list is a good source for finding them. So you can download these and choose the PNG files. I'm gonna be using the PNG image eight times size. So that means eight pixels by eight pixels for each square. So with one of those color palettes somewhere on your computer, we need to take an object we want to color using that palette, go over to material properties inside of the properties inspector, and then let's click new material to add a material to this object. So in order to use a color palette in our scene, we need to create a material for the color palette. So I will select any object in our scene we want to use the color palette with. And then in the properties window, go down to materials, which is this circle object over here. And then I'm going to click new to add a new material. So I might just call this palette material. And then we want to assign the color palette image to the base color. So we can click on this yellow circle next to base color and change this to image texture. And when we've done that, we now need to open an image texture to connect to the base color. So let's hit open. On the computer, on my desktop, I have a couple of color palettes we can go ahead and use. I'll double click on this pair 36 AX. Note that it's a PNG. So now if we're in viewport shading mode, we should see all of the colors kind of pop up across our object. So the reason we see all of the colors go all the way across here all at once is we haven't done any UV editing to basically determine which faces or parts of a face should be showing which color. One other thing we're going to need to change here in this material is changing where it says linear for the texture interpolation to closest. This will make the edges look a lot more crisp here. Since we're working with a low resolution texture, this will make it look correct. So now for this little plane, we could call it the ground. Let's go over to UV editing. So in the UV editing window, we can see the shape of this face. It's a plane, so it really only has one face on top. And right now we can see that the UV face has been stretched across all of the colors. I'm going to put the 3D viewport into viewport shading mode so that we can see how it's going to look. And what we need to do to color a face is to select the face we want to change. So in this mode, we can select the faces one at a time, face select, select the face you want to color. And if you just want to select all faces at once, you can hit A on your keyboard. Uh, the plane really only has this one face on top. So I'm going to go over to this left hand section now. And when you have a face selected, you're also going to select that face in the UV editing. So if we want to change what shows on this face, we need to change the shape of this UV. So we could select the individual vertices that correspond with the face vertices over here and then hit G to move them around. And as you'll see, uh, that will change what's going to end up displaying on that face. But if you want to assign everything on a face to one specific color, then you can hit A to select all of the same faces that you have selected over in the 3D viewport. You can hit S to scale and then hit zero in order to collapse everything down to a single point. And now we can move this single point around hitting the G key on our keyboard and dragging this to where we want it to be. So right now I have snapping enabled. I'm going to disable that. And now we can move this point freely. So you can see that we can assign this to any color we want simply by hitting G to go into move mode and moving all of these vertices around at once. Since we collapsed everything down to a single point with S and then zero on the keyboard, when we actually select this with a box select, we're selecting all of the points at once. So that's how we're able to move everything on the entire face all at one time. So maybe for something like grass, we'd want to go over to a green color. So I'll just bring that all the way over here. And we can actually reuse the same material with different colors for our other objects. So uh, this cube here, I can go to materials. I can use the drop down menu for the existing materials, select palette materials. And now you'll see uh, that same color palette gets assigned to this cube. So I can hit tab to go into edit mode, 
Now I can select a face I want to color. The same face will be showing up here in the UV editor. So I'm going to select all of those points for the face, hit S and then zero to collapse it down. And now let's choose a color for the face by hitting G and moving it around. So maybe this face, I want it to be purple. Let's go select another face. And then when we do that, you'll see new vertices over here in the UV editor. So I'm going to A to select the same vertices that we have selected in the 3D viewport. S to scale, zero to collapse it down. And now let's bring it over to something in between. And now let's hit G to select a color for that face. So you can see uh, using the same material, the same color palette, we've now assigned different colors to each face of this object and we can keep going. Uh, of course, as you can see, if you wanna have an in-between of several colors, like this face, you can do that by stretching some of your vertices across. So if I wanted to have one face be divided between two colors, I can drag a box around one half of the vertices, hit G, position them in the color I want there. I can go over here to the other vertices, hit G, and drag them over to this second color. And depending on how I position these exactly between the two, you'll get more or less of uh, the second color compared to the first color. So that can be one way you assign multiple colors to a single face. Alternatively, of course, you can uh, break your cube into more faces. If I hit Control R, I can do a ring cut, and then I can just divide that one face into two faces and then position them inside of the box as I need them to be for each of the colors. So here I'll select this, move it into the box, and then that gives us a perfect uh, cut 50% down the middle by having multiple faces. Okay, so let's do pretty much the same thing really quick with this spire kind of thing. I'm going to click on the material, go to palette material, let's hit tab to go into edit mode, and now let's select some of these faces we want to color. So just go around here, select all four of those, and now I'm going to select all of those same faces in the UV editing window. I'm going to hit A to select it, S to scale, 0 to collapse it down to a single point. And now let's go ahead and select a color here. Let's start with kind of a darker gray. Okay, so you can see that all the way around here, our base for this object is now gray. So now we can work on the rest. I'm going to hide the ground here really quickly by selecting it and then hitting H. What I'm going to do to select this entire base area is hit Alt and then Shift and left click. Okay, and that selects all around here. Let's also grab the very base here and let's assign that all to one color. I'm gonna hit A in the UV editing window to select everything I just selected in the other window. S to scale, zero, collapse it down to a single point and let's assign a color there. And just kind of keep going with everything else in the object that we need different colors assigned to. So I'm going to select all of this part with Alt, Shift, left click. Uh, shift left click to remove this part up here. So now we're just going around 360 degrees. I'm going to hit S to scale, zero to collapse it down. And let's move this to another color and just keep working our way up the object. Okay, and then finally right up here at the top, we'll just assign a color there. So of course, as you can see, you can assign colors to multiple faces at the same time, or you can just do it individually for every face on your object if you want. And so that's pretty much in a nutshell how you can texture your objects using colors from a color palette inside of Blender using a simple combination of a image texture and UV editing. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope this was a little bit helpful. Thanks for watching, and I will see all of you in my future video content.